Issues with your monitor can be hard to diagnose, especially if it's a hardware problem. Luckily for you, there are a few software tweaks you could try out. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Yandero Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix a faded monitor in Windows. So the first thing that we're going to do is to update the display driver. Now uh, this depends on how you're using your display, so if it's connected directly to your GPU, you're going to have to use the Intel or the Nvidia or AMD utility to update it. Otherwise, uh, the simple method is to press Windows key plus X to get access to the quick access menu and find the device manager. Once this loads up, we will go down to display adapters and then you will see all of your GPUs here. Now you can just right click and then click on update driver and ask Windows to automatically search for drivers. You can repeat the process for your dedicated GPU if you have one and that should get the ball rolling. Alternatively, if you're using uh, NVIDIA or uh, AMD, you can use the utilities. For example, I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I can use the GeForce Experience utility. Open this up, head over to the Drivers tab. And then as you can see, I already have the latest driver, but if I click on the Check for Updates button, this will start looking for updates and it will tell me if I have any driver updates pending, which I don't. Next up, there is another monitor related fix here in the drivers and in device manager itself. So once device manager is open, if you double click the monitor section, you will see both of your monitors or however many monitors you have connected to your system appear here. So as you can see, this one is the integrated monitor, which is my laptop's G uh, monitor right there. And this one is my primary monitor, the one that you're seeing on your screen. Now, if I right click, click on update driver, ask Windows to automatically search for it. Windows will most likely tell you that the best drivers are already installed. So this is uh, just in case you might want to change this. So yeah, it's always a good idea to make sure all of your drivers, both GPU and monitor are up to date. The next solution is to disable HDR. Now HDR content looks great, but it can sometimes be problematic on account that HDR kind of dulls the colors on your screen. To do this, press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings, head over to system, click on display, select the monitor that you want to uh, change the settings for. Now, uh, in my case, my primary monitor, the one that you're seeing on the screen does not support HDR, only the second one does. So I'll sec select the second one. And uh, as you can see, there is a use HDR option right here. And uh, for this one, there is just HDR. So if I click it, sorry, that would be display one. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, there is a use HDR option right here. And this is disabled. If I click on it, an entire HDR section of the settings appears. As you can see, this supports HDR, uh, use HDR is also supported, but I am not using HDR because that can feel your colors, uh, make it feel like your colors are a little bit washed out. In reality, that's just what the actual color looks like, simply because uh, IPS panels or VA panels or whatever panel you might have saturates the colors a little bit more when you're in uh, SDR. So you can try and um, sort of optimize these settings based on what display you have. So if I select uh, my second display, you can see all of the SDR options go away. So this only works for displays that support HDR. If you feel like the colors are washed out, feel free to go ahead and disable HDR. You don't necessarily have to use it. Moving on, next thing is disabling a color profile. Now you might have actually uh, not set one but sometimes some installations or some uh, GPU or some game might have installed it for you. So to do this, just press the Windows key to bring up the start menu and search for color profile or color management rather. Open it up and you will see this window pop up. Now in here, we have a bunch of options. So you can select your display. So display one, display two, and these are the profiles that you're using with the particular display will show up right here. Uh, just select whatever profile uh, you want to uh, remove, click on it and then the remove buttons are right here. As you can see, I don't have any profiles on both of my monitors simply because I like the way they look uh, when it comes to standard. You can also go ahead and add a color profile right here. So this will take you through uh, 
this will show you the profiles installed on the system so these are uh, my default profiles and then test calibration profiles so you can use these uh, or you can add an advanced color profile of your choice in any case disabling color profiles should take your display back to stock settings and that should make it look better and now the final thing is to disable color filters now color filters is an accessibility feature in windows 11 and it adds a color filter on your screen in case you're colorblind or things like that to help you look at your display better now just open the start menu again search for color filters and a system settings pop-up will show up so as you can see my color filters are disabled but if i enable them uh, my entire screen just went gray uh, and then i can have different sort of colors here so as i'm changing these colors i'm not sure if this is being recorded oh wow that's not great or you can go full inverted if that's what you're in and this will affect how colors appear on your screen of course when you disable this all the colors will come back and the faded monitor look will go away that said if there is a physical defect in your monitor you should always try messing around with the osd settings so um, try making sure your contrast and your brightness and saturation levels are set properly try using a different cable and if that doesn't work it's probably time to take your monitor into a shop if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech Visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.